guys and welcome to my channel and to today's video. So today I am going to be reviewing the Barry M Fresh Face Collection. Um, so I'm not going to be putting on all the different shades but I will just be putting on like my shades. So they've sent me some primers, foundations and some cheek and lip tints and I did actually use this yesterday and I was really impressed by the collection. Like it really does give you that fresh face glow. My chihuahua is like going crazy I don't know what he's doing oh he's burying his chew in my jumper so apologies if you can hear him he's going a little wild um but yeah anyway where was I foundation retails for eight pounds the primer retails for six pounds and then these little uh cheek and lip tints retail for three pounds fifty and out of the whole collection these little cheek and lip tints are actually so so nice like I usually use the Iconic London Power Pink um, blush, but honestly, like this is just as blendable, just as nice pigment, and it's only £3.50, so I like, really rate them, they're really, really nice, and I'll show you what they come out like. So just starting with the Illuminating Primers, they've sent me the shades Cool and Warm, so I'm going to go for Warm just because... I like more of a warm undertone and usually like I'm literally pale as a ghost at the minute. I haven't fake tan since like I can't even remember I'm neglecting my tan but usually I'd have more of like a warmy undertone. So I'm just going to pop a bit of this on and it smells so nice as well and just give this a rub in. So already we've got some of that fresh face going on. I don't know if these have got like hyaluronic acid in or what. Oh yes, yeah they have. It says on the front it's got vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So hy hyaluronic acid is always good for like illuminating. So my skin absolutely loves it. So yeah, that is the primer. We're now going to go in with the foundation. Again, they did send me quite a few shades. I was the lightest shade, so I think I was number four. So they've sent me four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, four is my shade. So yeah, I'm just going to pop a bit of this number four on. I did actually go in the first time I used it with number five, and it was way too dark for me. So I feel like there is like quite a bit of a step between number four and five. But when this blends out, like it is pretty much the perfect match for me. And it is like really illuminating and nice. Like it's perfect for those fresh face days when you just kind of you know, just wanting that soft radiant look. And again, the foundation comes with the same as what the primer has. So it's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin C. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use a uh, I'm just going to use a brush to blend this in and show you what it looks like. So this is the finished look. I would say that the foundation is a little bit more coverage than like a tinted moisturiser. It definitely does give you that fresh face feeling like it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. It's dried down and yeah, I feel like it's perfect to like add product on top. I will be adding bronzer to this, but I'll go ahead and just use like the cheek and lip tint just to show you what it looks like. So we've got uh, five shades here. Three of them I haven't actually used yet. So the three I haven't used are Deep Rose, Caramel Kisses and Blackberry. And I just feel like they're more for when I'm a bit more tanned. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to use those shades. But the shades I have used are Peach Glow. That's probably my ultimate fave. And also Summer Rose. So they're the two I'm going to use today. So just for shade purposes, I'm going to put Summer Rose on this side. And then peach glow on the other side and these honestly blend out so nicely so I'm just going to take that same fluffy brush and just blend it upwards so they are kind of similar shades this is the pink side and then this is the peach side I think peach is probably my favorite just because I feel like it really does blend in really nicely with the foundation. So 
So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer and mascara and then I'll finish with just adding that tint onto my lips. Okay, so I've just added some bronzer. Like I still feel like it's looking so like fresh and like not natural because it's obviously there, but like more natural than a big full coverage foundation. I didn't go in too heavy with the mascara either because I kind of wanted to keep it toned down. Um, so I'm just going to use that same peach lip tint just to pop a bit of colour onto my lips, and then we're done. So yeah, this is the finished look. I am just going to add a bit of Barry M lip oil. This isn't part of the same range, but it is Barry M. So I guess I can use it in the video. Um, this lip oil is my favourite, by the way. It's so nice. So yeah, you can obviously keep it matte if you want to, but I like the glossy look and also my lips are so dry at the minute. So a bit of lip oil is nice um but yeah this is my review i hope it's been helpful obviously if you've got any questions then just ask below and i will get back to you if you would be interested in like seeing some swatches of the other little tint shades then also do let me know because i could do that in another video when i'm i'll just make sure to fake tan first so it kind of just blends a bit nicer um but yeah thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to my channel and check me out on tiktok and instagram and i will see you in the next video